So I just got back from running errands and I went to Walmart because I wanted to pick up a few things for dinner and in there I saw their Better Home and Gardens collection for kitchen towels and this caught my eye. It has like nautical vibes. I love the colors so I'm going to put these over the stove. Super cute. Next I also found like this bread. I want to use this for like I said my recipe for dinner tonight. Hopefully it turns out good. I'm going to do a crock pot recipe with shredded chicken. I've just been loving crock pot recipes. It saves me so much time. So next, I decided to get these Sweet Lauren cookies. I've been seeing them all over YouTube and really wanted to try it out. This is their oatmeal cranberry. It's gluten-free, dairy-free, and plant-based, which is perfect for my boys because Mari, he has allergy to peanuts. And then Trey, he can't really have too much dairy. So it works out perfectly. I picked up some oranges and some popsicles. And I also picked up some tulips, you guys. I needed some fresh flowers to go on the table, so these are perfect. I wanna show you the ones that I had on the table. Like, they are struggling, but I love me some, some roses, okay? So this is perfect. <laughs> They're a little sad, so we're gonna go ahead and throw these in the trash. The blinds, they keep falling, so I have to fix those. Next, I also found some mats that I'm gonna be using in the patio. We're gonna be doing a patio refresh, so I have these two that I got from Walmart as well. And I also decided to get these hydrangeas, you guys. Flowers just make me so happy. So even just doing this patio refresh, I'm excited for. I went to Home Depot and I got this barrel to put the hydrangeas in, some potting mix from miracle Grow. I like this one the best. Okay, girls, so we have a ton of things to do today. We have our small patio refresh that we're gonna be doing. We have an easy crock pot recipe, and I have some cleaning that I need to get done as well. So we're starting off in the kitchen. I have a few dishes from earlier this morning from when the boys had breakfast. There's still a few things on the counter that I need to put away from the small grocery haul that I shared with you guys earlier today. We're gonna make a list of groceries because that is another thing we have to do later on in this video. So really quick, I have the Better Homes and Gardens towels I'm gonna switch out and put on the stove. I actually ended up putting three up there instead of two, but you guys will probably see that in a different video. So I'm going to just go ahead and put these up really quick. I'm trying to decide which one I like the best. I'm taking my flowers off of the table. It's time to go ahead and get rid of those. And I'm gonna wipe the table down because it's just dusty and sometimes it has like a little bit of pollen from those flowers up there. So I'm just taking my spray and wiping it down. This has been like my go-to spray lately. I like it. Even though it's made for grease specifically, I use it because it is still an all-purpose spray. So even though it's a really, really beautiful day today, we are starting to get ready for fall. I'm gonna start doing a little bit more fall videos later on, but really quick, I wanna go ahead and cut my flowers. I'm so excited for these tulips, you guys. It's just something about a new bouquet of flowers on your table, just like a new centerpiece that just makes you feel good. And it just kind of just brightens the kitchen up a little bit more. So every now and then I like to switch out and buy my own flowers or my husband will buy me flowers because he knows how happy they make me but let me know down in the comments are you a flower girl do you like to have flowers on your counters and in your kitchen or do you not really care for flowers
So something new we've incorporated is eating at the dinner table. We don't always do this, but every now and then I do want to have family time with the boys. With electronics and everything, a lot of times we'll just kind of come home, do our own thing. Everybody will eat dinner, they'll watch their own shows. But I feel like sometimes we just kind of miss out on family time because the boys being in school and just everybody with their busy schedules, you don't really have a lot of time to talk or catch up. So with us sitting at the table, we have a chance to find out about each other's day and just see how everybody is doing. And I just love that. So we're moving on to our crock pot recipe. And I'm gonna be doing shredded chicken. Apron is from the My Texas Home line too. You guys, if you haven't realized, I really love her line. She just has so many cute things. So definitely check it out. It's available at Walmart if you're interested. So I'm just taking out a few seasonings that I wanna use for my shredded chicken. Let us know down in the comments what ingredients you use to make your shredded chicken. Is this something new for you? Do you like crock pot recipes? Let us know. So I have my chicken breasts already thawed out. I'm gonna, I think it's like two, possibly three that I'm gonna use. I get mine from Costco. I have my season all that I like to use as my all over seasoning. So I'll go in, like this is my base seasoning. I use that first, then I'll go in with the McCormick Montreal chicken. That's one of my favorite seasonings as well. And I use that to kind of go just on top of the season salt. And I will also use a cup of water and then a cup of chicken broth as well to put in it just to fill up the water the rest of the way and actually give it a little bit more flavor. With the frozen chicken, sometimes the water thaws out and makes it a little more bland. I'm also gonna add a little bit of taco seasoning. I know that's different, but I just like the way that it tastes. It gives it just like a kind of zesty taste to it. And we're gonna set our crock pot and just turn it on for a few minutes. Now we're moving on to our patio. It's time to give it a refresh. I'm gonna be pouring in my potting soil into my barrel and we're gonna add the hydrangeas to it. I did like it. These hydrangeas are so full. I wish I had just got two barrels because what I ended up doing was I bought two sets of hydrangeas. So I only have one behind me, but I went back to the store and bought another one and put them both in this barrel. And it ended up being like, I made it work, but it just was too much. Like the hydrangea needed to be, each set needed to have its own barrel. And I wish I had known that. So I know it now for next summer that I will just probably repot it into one barrel because they're so full and they bloom so nicely every year. So I learned my lesson. <laughs> So my oldest son had their basketball tournament this weekend and we had just got back from it before I started doing my recipes and stuff. And you guys, I'm telling you, they were basically the underdogs and all of a sudden Mari hit the game winning shot and they ended up winning and everyone who was there ran out to meet him and jump on him. You guys, it was such a fluke shot that me and Ryan, we didn't expect for it to go in because we've seen him play a few times and every now and then he'll do kind of like a left handed hook shot. Sometimes he'll miss, sometimes he'll make it. But when he went to throw it, me and Ryan were like, oh no, right? All of a sudden the ball went in the basket. People were jumping up and down like they ran to the courts. And it was just like one of those scenes you see in a movie where the underdog wins and you're just so happy for them. So even though they didn't completely win a tournament, they won that game. And it was such a nice feeling for him to be able to experience that because I know they've just were so down the whole time, but it was a good chance for them to kind of come together as a team and just play. So they just had a great experience with that. 
So we are gonna come back to the patio, but really quick, it's time for us to check on our crock pot recipe. It is completely finished, and I like to let it sit in there for about maybe five seconds so that it can actually let the juice sink into the chicken because I've noticed sometimes with the Instapot, when you release it and let the steam out of it, it will kind of drive the chicken if it's too fast. So I let it sit in there for about five minutes just so it can get all juicy and moist. Okay, so really quick about the hydrangea. I was basically saying that I wanted to get another one because I felt like that one had some more room in it. And then I also had potted my Dollar Tree plants as well. So we will go outside and I can share with you what I got. Now these two mats, like I said before, I'm not sure if I mentioned it earlier in the video, but these are from Walmart. This is just the Hello Mat. And I like the way it looks. It's, it's nice, it's fresh. I feel like it really gives the patio a new look. Like I said, I had a little extra room in the back of the pot, so I was just basically telling you that I wanted to add another hydrangea in there. But overall, after a few weeks, I've noticed that this would have just been fine. I should have just got a new barrel with another set of hydrangeas. So this is how the chicken looks. We're back in the kitchen again, and it's almost done. All we have to do is shred it. But actually what happened with this was the bread was molded. I was so upset, I didn't even notice it. And I just got this from the store. So normally what I do is I will take my bread, I will put butter on it, put it in the oven, let it sit, get a little bit of crunch to it. And then I'll add my shredded chicken to it. So this day I wasn't able to do that because like I said, the bread had mold on it. So I had to throw it out. This is the shredded chicken here. Once I'm done shredding it, I will put it back in the crock pot just to let it get a little bit more moist. I'll add a little bit more taco seasoning to it. And we did wraps, so this is how it looks. For dessert, we're going in with our Sweet Lauren cookies. You guys, these cookies are our chef's kiss. It's amazing, I'm telling you. Try it out if you haven't tried it out. If you have any allergies, check the back. You should be able to try it, but hey, again, read the ingredients, make sure you can have it. So I like to have it because it's like a healthy snack for me. I'm gonna put two in, put it in the oven, let it sit for a few minutes, and then just chow down on these. They're so amazing, I'm telling you. redo the front door um, with the mat so I'll probably save that for another video I didn't get a chance to do that today and unwind and watch a show I started watching Vanderpump Rules because a few of you girls told me to start watching it because I think y'all are watching the finale so I'm I'm starting from the very beginning so that I can catch up and watch and see what's going on but so far I'm hooked I'm on episode three so I'm still trying to see what I feel about, you know, the people and the show and everything. So far, I'm liking it. So it's something for me to watch. But anyways, um, yeah. So again, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.